Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, look at this. Mother Karua gets to somewhere to campaign. I'm talking about Nyeri. Then a day after, William Ruto, who happened to be a presidential candidate, instead of sending his running mate, Rigathe Gashagwe, to go and encounter Mother Karua in Nyeri. What Ruto does, he takes Musalem Dabadi from Western, Tangula from Western, Alfred Mutua from Machakos County, that is <laughs> Lower Eastern. Then he comes with the Gaza Gashagwe and Ruto himself to Nyeri County just to counter Mother Karua. One woman, you take a whole army of Kenya Kwanza to go and counter. What does that, that, that one tells you? Then look on the kind of crowd Ruto is having and the photos they are sharing there. To some extent, you can, there is possibility you might think that they have edited these photos also just to show that they have numbers. They are in Karatina Nyeri and the entire region they have been walking to. Then, look at the people who are attending this rally. There are so many things you can tell from William Samai Ruto rally. People are organized well dressed in uniform to attend these rallies. Watch this video shortly. Now on this panel today, I want to explain to you why I'm convinced that Ruto might be performing good in terms of attracting crowds, but he might fail when it will come to real voting. But before we go deep into that, just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you're not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that any other time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Again, thank you so much for those people who wished me happy birthday. Thank you so much. I read all those comments and I responded. Back to our discussion. Now, from that video and the photos that are trending on social media, there is one thing you will learn that this were well-organized crowd earlier to come and attend William Samuel Ruto event. Look at the dressing from top going down. The whole dress, Navitamba, the handkerchiefs. <laughs> These are not the common mamaboga we know. They can't afford those dresses. They might not afford. And all of them, they are in uniform. It tells you that there is someone who has been organizing these women. And there is something Kenyans are learning. That this group of women and the youth have been organized to attend every rally that William Ruto might call for in Mount Kenya region. They will always be there. So now you will end up having same rally 
Same people attending those rallies. Different venues. And this could be one of the reasons why Ruto was convinced and knowing that Rigathe Gashagwe is a mobilizer. But instead, it is turning out that Rigathe Gashagwe has organized a group of women to attend every rally Ruto will call for in Mount Kenya. And they are well paid. First of all, you are paid to attend. That means it is not coming from you in your heart that I love Ruto, uh, I want to vote for him, and I'm ready to listen to him. Someone has induced you with something for you to attend that event. It means this is hired crowd. So Ruto thinks that he has massive following in Mount Kenya when in real sense he has addressed the same people in different rallies. So it means before Ruto get to a rally somewhere, already 40 to 50 percent of the people attending these rallies are the same people he has addressed in different venues. Yes, it has helped to create a perception that Ruto is having numbers in Mount Kenya. And many people have been fearing about this, that Ruto are on numbers. But there are just same numbers in different venues. That is how Rigathe Gashagwe has misled William Samway Ruto. And yesterday I explained to you why Ruto is taking now a defense position with the entire one K uh, Kenya Kwanza team. <laughs> Today again he is confirming the same. You take the entire crew of Kenya Kwanza to come and counter Mother Karua who happened to be a running mate. Now they are elevating Mother Karua from a running mate to look like a presidential candidate. He's just a mere running mate. And someone told me yesterday in the comment section, please remind Mother Karua, we're just looking for 10 to 20 percent. <laughs> Not 90 percent. But Mother Karua is fighting like he need, she needs to bring 90 percent. And that's why, because of panic, William Ruto handlers are now sharing out edited photos. Rigathe Gashagwe, out of panic, he has gone to unleash the group that he has been using in Mount Kenya region. To move around Nyeri, show the massive crowd that Ruto can have. If I ask what value is Mseda Mdavad adding to William Ruto by going to Nyeri to campaign. I think he should have been concentrating somewhere else. What value is Wetangula adding to that? Already William Ruto has his following in Mount Kenya. I don't see the real value they will bring to this group. Unless if they were on ballot also as presidential candidate. What value does Alfred Mutua add to William Ruto in Mount Kenya? In Nyeri. When you go to the parliament, you will end up convinced to vote for Ruto. So all these things we are seeing is panic. A lot of stress. These people are not comfortable. They will not sleep because of the influence Mother Karua is bringing in Mount Kenya. Like today, Mother Karua is somewhere in Mount Kenya in a rally. So I don't know after this, tomorrow they will be going to the same area to counter. You know, this is what has been happening some time back. It's like that when Raina was getting to Mount Kenya for a campaign, let us assume he is like in a Nyeri today, tomorrow you will see Ruto going to Nyeri to counter 
what Raila had campaigned there. Like when he got to Kirinyaga, Nyandarwa or somewhere else, the following time you will see Ruto going in the same area. So there's something we are learning here. Fearing crowd and paying people to attend your rallies means that this is a hired crowd. So you cannot be sure that these people will turn out to vote for you. So Ruto should anticipate for a shock during voting day. Because these people have not come to listen to you willingly. Someone has mobilized them. Yes, we understand mobilizing is also key in politics. It is important. But you cannot pay people every time when you come there and mobilize them, give transport to attend your rally. Then you expect that they will vote for you. These people might not turn out to come and vote. They might come for your rally because they expect you to pay them. But when it comes to voting, they might vote for someone else. And again, turnout will be very low. But if Mother Karua gets somewhere to address people, let's assume she I get to address 500 people. I think out of these 500 people who have come, 300 will be convinced to vote for Mother Karua. Because they have come willingly. Unlike William Samuel Ruto, who attracted a crowd of 2,000 people, paid to attend. Convincing paid people is very hard because you have hired this crowd. Out of a thousand, you might manage to have just a hundred. Or if not, then you can have 500 who will vote for you. So on one hand, Mother Karua have a crowd of 500 people. 300 are convinced because they came willingly, not paid. Ruto with his 2,000 crowd, 500 are convinced to vote for him. So Mother Karua get 300, Ruto get 500. What does that tell you? Now you're in your bedroom, yaki. There is a lot Ruto is losing. There is a lot Raila Odinga is gaining. That is the truth now. Otherwise, if not so, there was no need for Ruto to call for a such meeting in Nyeri just a day after Mother Karua has left. There will be no need for Rigatha Gasago to organize women, our mothers, our sisters, <laughs> and my fellow boys to go into these rallies. They are organized paid to attend because they want to achieve a specific political objective. I don't know what to think about this, but that's my view. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.